Right, people, we're back. So all the prep we've done. So as I say, in our pan, I've mashed the turkey with the masher. Potatoes! Right, there's our fish. So what I'm gonna do, all that is gonna go into our pan. It might make a little bit of a mess, but I'm just gonna put so much in for now. And there's more fish than what there is the potato. Got a spoon? Just gonna mix that a little bit. As I say, if you don't like using, uh, use um, frozen mash, use a tin of tuna, a tin of whatever you can come about. This is just the same. But well, this is all still better. It's what Dad lent me. And then what I'm going to do when I've done this, I'm going to put them at the patty in the fish cakes. And we're going to shallow fry them with some virgin olive oil. And this here is enough, gosh. I would say you're going to get a good, a good 20 out of this. Oh, Put them in freezer bags. Put them in your fridge the last three days. Put them in your freezer. Get them out when you want. But if you freeze them, don't flour them. When you get them out, let them defrost, then flour them. Look at all that in there. Loads of goodness for you. Want a bit more? Add the side of the sink. Wash my hands. As I said, well, me tea tea has calmed down, same as me fish, because obviously I'm going to handle it. Right now, we've got two eggs in this cup. Reason with two eggs, it binds it. Get in. No more. Now we've got some salt and pepper. This is ground black pepper, but if you don't like it, don't put it in. I do. Now we've got our parsley. Be careful of this when you use it, because you'd end up, could end up parsley. So I use. <laughs> right, what I usually do with the parsley, as I say, you can use fresh. They're good. I'll use the other side, it's going to be there all day with that one. A good handful, like that. About a teaspoon. Sprinkle that in. And I'm going to mix it all up. Obviously the bowl beside me, I've got plain flour because we're going to like this flour then. I make a little bit of a mess of candy out, but it's one of them. All the fish, potato, salt, pepper, parsley. Now to get nice and claggy. The reason of the eggs, because it binds it up and they don't fall to bits when you put it in your frying pan, your wok or whatever. That's nice and done, I think. Right, so we've got our bowl of plain flour and a plate. So this is a nice bit. Nice handful. Don't make them too, too thick. 
because it'll take longer to cook. And don't, don't forget, this is already cooked, so all you're doing, basically, is warming them through. So nice flour on plain flour. And I hope when I don't fry them, they don't fall to bloody bits. Let's wash my hands. Because obviously the rest I am going to freeze. I'm going to do four, but I'll, basically I'm just going to cook two. So you can see me cook two. And the rest, I'm going to freeze the back to foil. Sorry about that. I know it. Take another one. Patty cake, patty cake. You make them as big as you want, or oh, it's up to you. Some flour. And that is just going to go on there for a couple of minutes. I'm just going to leave that. Three hands. Or clad it. Here we go. We've got our famous wok. Benny finger down. Let's blast this on. Olive oil. Fish fry it. Great. We'll get this wok out. Yeah, I think that's up straight. Good enough for me, it's good enough for yours. Get your own nice and out. I have to say I could have made this put on before, but let's do it raw. And then people have asked me they like to see what I do, how I'm doing it, how I'm explaining it, and how to make it at home. Why not? And you know what you're saying? If I can do it, anybody can. Basically, I'll put the aggro in the fill of heat. We'll soon go. So you don't have to use a wok, you use a frying pan, but I like using a wok, it's bigger and it's better for me. You can start here right now. If you don't use it, if you don't like olive oil, it's okay, but like you're doing a big brick, brick bread. Can't even see it. Beef dripping, lard, um, vegetable oil. It's starting to get hot now. Smell that. Smell that now. Right. So we're our fish cakes. As I said, these are already cooked. All we're doing them now is just warming them through and brown them off. But be careful, sometimes, well I hope they don't drop the bits. There we go. I shall remove that. I'm gonna turn that heat down for action. We don't want to burn them, we still want to let them cook in the middle. I'll turn the heat down. This is a little bit what gets me. Obviously, we're not able to see it's when you flip them over. Are they going to fall a bit or are they not? <laughs> Should I have all bets? Have bets on it all. Are they going to fall a bit or are they not? Is it going to work or isn't it? If it doesn't, well, I'll be over the moon. But if it does, can't be out. Have a, like a minute, minute or so each side. And I'm just gonna see if I can flip these over. I'm right, obviously using my fingers. Yeah. There she goes. There's one. There's the other filter bit. It's got me as it is. One as well. There we go. No one's perfect. I said I left that maybe a little bit longer. 
a little bit longer, but we'll, uh, we'll go. Let's see if I can get this over. But that's the basic of it of it anyway. People say they can go to one from Barry or not. It's easier, but it should be you. Basically, all we do, we only warm them and plug the towel through. Oh, I can't remember what that was. Start the bits. Shame like. We'll lose that. Should have left it a bit longer. But go with your instincts, I should have left it a bit longer there. Right, what the hell? Who's perfect? So we only want them a little bit brown. A bit brown. We'll try once more with this one. It's our perfect one. <laughs> Get that over fraction. Yeah, a little bit longer, that's it. As I say, whoever had the bet there and said they'll fall the bits, it's your fault. <laughs> they have. Sorry about that, folks, but as I say, no one's perfect. Yeah, I've got the bits. What a shame, but I'll still eat them. Anyway, that's a broken the button.